great, man. I'm having a great time so far. What were your initial thoughts when you learned the news that you were coming here? No, I was excited. Excited to be back down closer to home. Um, I'm from South Georgia, so family was super excited. We're, we're just thankful for another opportunity. I know you're brand new, but your initial thoughts get lined up alongside Ken Walker. Man, I'm loving it, man. I, I, I look at him, then you look at the guys in front, and then the guys that's behind you, man, this is really good defense and, you know, get everything rolling. I get in the system, learn. I think we'll be pretty, pretty good. Initial thoughts on how DeMar Wilson likes to attack and surely talk to you about that. Oh yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. I think we're gonna get after a lot of people, blitz, um, and just play tight defense. You talked to some people in the LA media, they rave about you. Right. And just the leadership part of it. Where did you learn that from? Because clearly you had some right. teammates along the way that showed you that. I think first off it came pretty natural just being myself, but you know I've had help from guys like Bobby Wagner who were just natural born leaders, picked up things from them. AD didn't say much, but his actions showed a lot. Um, Robert Woods, so I've had, in my career, I've had a, a great example of some great guys, so it wasn't too hard to follow up and come and mimic what they do and add my own flavor. I have to ask about the knee, what's the status? Oh yeah, we good. We, we playing ball, man. It's, we ready to go. So the, the time that you missed was this management? Or I think for the, with the Rams, I think it was more so management. Um, that's what I was under the impression of. So I, when they told me not to practice, I, I didn't practice. So that, that, that was that. Can you kind of talk us through those last couple of weeks mm -hmm. in L.A.? What kind of forced the trade? How, did you expect it to happen? It's kind of what led to all this? Um, I'm just going to be completely honest. I, I was shocked. Um, we got off the flight from Houston, and then I got told that I'd be traded. Um, no bad blood. No, There wasn't even any like contract talks. We never even talked numbers. It was just... Y'all weren't extending me, okay, we'll play this year out. So I was under the impression that I was going to just finish this year in L.A. and then move on. But, you know, it happened earlier. Um, love my guys over there. Love the team that gave me my opportunity. So it's, it's no hard feelings on my end. Is it a tough adjustment, just kind of switching teams this close to the top of the season? Just, just, just it being this close. But one thing I tell these guys, they love what they do. They, they have a lot of fun here. So they've been truly helpful. Um, Nobody's giving me like cold shoulder or anything, so everybody's been helpful. All the guys have been pretty cool. Anybody here? Uh, uh, Sebastian, Joseph Day. We played together on that Super Bowl year, so. How's your knee? I feel great. Feel great. Knee feels good. Ready to go play ball. How's your fitness? I feel great. Yeah, I'm ready to go. What excites you about the vision that Rand has for this team? Um, I, I mean, I can only look from the, the defensive side of the, the ball, and it, I mean. If you look from top to bottom, there are some really good ball players on that side of football, and I'm just super excited about you know what we can do if we just go out there and put it all on tape. So that that gets me excited, you know, coming in the building. What do you think about the whole? I'm sure we talked about this lot, green dot thing. We've got new linebackers here. Right. What what is your thought process on that? Oh no, I'm fine with it. That's something that I just take pride in doing. So whenever my opportunity is called, I'm gonna I'm gonna take full advantage of it. How do you rate your young defense versus your I feel it's even all across the board. Um, learning in the in the coverage aspect of it, if you want the truth, I have truly just learned this this past year on how coverage they wanted coverage at LA. So now here, I got a good adjustment on how things they they want to run things here. So I'm looking for improvement in all areas. Oh yeah, I'm excited about it. I feel like we go out there and execute. We'll make a lot of offenses angry. When did you get here? Yesterday night at 8:40. Two. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I think the main priority here is just get in, learn the offense, get get in with the guys, see if this is you know truly a fit, um, and just you know see if they like me, see if we like each other, and we'll go from there. I mean, this I haven't even been here a full day yet, so we're taking it one day, one minute at a time. What all did you do during this practice here today? Yes, I was full go, so I did did everything, did the individual, uh, got a few reps in. So they're kind of feeding me in slow, but it's it's been good. Have you gotten to dive into the playbook very much yet? Uh, no, uh, out here was the first time. Yeah, so that was it. I don't know. I just felt like each day I was stacking the day. Um, I tried to make sure that I didn't make the same mistake twice the next day. And I take the, the learning points that I got in the meeting room from the people around me and just apply those as fast as I could every day. Uh, I'd like to contribute in any way I can. Whenever I get on that field, just go out there and make sure I do my 11th every time I'm on the field. Um, that's really all I can say to that. Though. Colin Ann said all 
pointing to how talented this tight end group was. And mm -hmm. then obviously, we see it at least right now with five tight ends. Were you ever surprised, or what can you say about this group that makes it a little bit uh, I'm not surprised about um, him, you know, thinking highly of our, of our group. I, I do believe in our group. I think we're all like we're a tight knit group. We all believe in each other. We all make each other better. Um, definitely awesome, you know, that we got to keep five of us. Um, that's you know, that's just great. So we're gonna, it's good because we're all gonna get better throughout the season. For uh, for Thomas, uh, I thought that was great. You know, that's like you know he made ESPN. Like that was that went viral and everything. I think that was a huge moment for him. I think even before that, they were considering it. Uh, you know, we're back at it now. I'm back out here with the guys. We're out here flying around. I'm just ready for next week. I think a lot of guys know it's go time. They know we got a week away from the, from the game. I think everybody came in today with the mindset, ready to work. Yeah, I'm full practice. I'm ready to go. How you feel when you feel like the kind of lead up has prepared you for the season? Where you will be ready to roll? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm ready. We'll see week one. Yeah, we're both ready. The I guess preparation as far as getting four guys who've never really played together to play together when you didn't have any time. Oh, uh, you know, it started all the way back in April. You know, we've been together ever since then. We've been in that bond. We get together every day almost. We've been in camp. You know, build the bonds with each other, and you know, I think we're ready. How do you compensate for no practice or game reps together? No, you know, we've been in practice. We've been in meetings together. We do walkthroughs together, so all that matters. Those mental reps, that's kind of more or less the way that you predict yourself to be able to get ready? No, definitely. You know, everybody learn different visually. You know, you got to see it or walk through it. One person, I got to walk through it and see it, and I think it helped me out a lot. Yeah. What is it about those methods like, that allows you to, to learn that way and get ready? Yeah, you know, coming out here, doing walkthroughs, you know, it helped my mental. You know, it brings confidence. I know what I'm doing on the field or not for sure. Do you know Ernest and what did you tell him when he came to the field? Oh, yeah, man. I seen Ernest. He didn't say nothing to nobody. He came in ready to work. You know, got, he was in his locker this morning in his playbook. I didn't want to bother him, but I shook his hand and told him what's up. What's it been like for you? You came in, you came in I guess, probably the late March. A lot of new faces on this team. You keep, keep adding to it. How do you like the group you see? Well, I love the group, man. When I came in, it made me feel like a family. It made me feel like home. You know them guys? I love them guys. Uh, Cheeto, Cheeto, like a young, true vet. You know, he, like he's been in the game about 10 years already. You know, he teaches guys, tell guys what to do, put guys in order.